<laughs> well. That went fantastically. That went fan Wait, so you went like through two different characters and I'm still on the same one? Yep. <laughs> well, I started as an old man, but I started as a slightly less old man. This time around, yeah. And spent like half of my time with the character in a dungeon. <laughs> Best video ever. <laughs> okay, save the game. Yep, alright. Pay no attention to my save files. I am not planning anything. Dun, 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 dun. Now I'm going to have somebody pouring over that f list in the footage for like hours <laughs> trying to figure out why I said that. <sighs> okay, if you resign and I start the game up again, it should. Should should I get out or? Um, just resign and then go right back to the multiplayer. All line. right. Okay, game is up. Everything should be the same. Let's see. I don't Plus know if the, I remember uh, the ID is the same. It should be. All right. Let's see. Or it might not be. Let me check. Yeah, it's, okay, check. Yeah, it's the same. Let's see. Yep. And I'm loading the save. Don't randomize I... yet. Okay, why? You want to see what I randomized? I want to you? see because I want to see if you have if you end again in the jail. Wait, wait. Are I we? I end up in jail again. What? For the record, the king. I I mean the character I have currently clicked on is. Wait, I should find the guy that I was to ensure that I don't randomize to him again. Yeah. Yeah. It would be so, Argyle? But then again, I guess I could ran it's not as entertaining if I somehow randomly ended up with him immediately. Yeah, it wouldn't be. I mean, if you want to go ahead, but... What is entertaining about this is do you know that as soon as that occupation is done, this guy is going to do exactly what I was about to do. Yeah. Because his liege is still in his dungeon. Yeah. Immediately, probably. Yeah. Like, as soon as the castle is unoccupied. Uh huh. The issue that I have is that, is that my mic has a like leg stand so it's holding on to my it's on my desk so i can't really move around that much because i am always afraid of waking walking wick um, hitting the mouse the um, the mic so i'm just like here half frozen moving my hands slowly around okay you've okay. loaded in yep Con uh, and let's see who I'm going to end up with now. Once I move the Skype thingy that shows that I'm talking to you out of the way. Mm -hmm. And I'm a count again. <laughs> count Carl of Nevers. And now you are in what's that? Not this French? Uh, in France. Yes, I am now French. And German. Oops! Oops! I've just selected the. I am a culturally the... German character in France. How did that happen? Because, you know, I, I don't know. You need to click the ready button. Oops. <laughs> I never remember. And I'm also a child. Yep, how old? Um, I have no idea. I just noticed I'm a child. Right. Do I am a 12-year-old. Well, it's not that bad. Just... Four years. Where are you? You are an expert of Valois. You are sense. I am Count Carl of Nevers. Nevers. Oh wait, there is the map mode. Oh, I am in the map mode. 
All right. We will probably never have. Uh, we will probably never be next Unless to each other. Unless you somehow manage to actually usurp the Caliphate and then you just go on a massive conquering spree. <laughs> yeah, I declare Holy War on Aquitaine and. <laughs> <laughs> Holy War on the entire world. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, they are carling, so probably I wouldn't go that far, but. Wait, the King of France is a Capet, actually. Capet. Um, I think they're carling in this start date. Well, not France. Oh yeah! Whoa, Capet. They are. I have never seen that happen in 867. Yeah, it's very soon. There's actually a Capet on the throne of France. Wow. And in uh, yeah, in 1840, Charles the Bold died. No, wait, in 1882, so six years ago. Oh, I'm also still under a member of House Wealth. So the guy I threw in the dungeon with the last character, he's related to the my new liege. Well, but you are not technically the same person, so... Yeah, but that's just funny. Yeah. You should... you still hate him, right? Yes. You hate... you hate your leash. Does, why do you hate me? Well, it's a long story. I can't oh, what? Was... He let his leash out of the dungeon for money. Idiot. What? Like, I'm looking at my old character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, come on! Idiot. Probably that's probably because he can't he can't push the faction right now. Well, I currently have my chancellor and my chaplain just sitting in Rome to butter the Pope up for what I've been adult. <laughs> you know, I've I'm never not get like a ton of piety and just start doing like papal requests, like, "Hey, Pope, can I have a claim on this? How about this? This? Can I have some money?" <laughs> I've never, I've, I haven't played around with the, um, with the, what's that, what's that, with the, I don't remember the name, with the um, Papal Mechanics, you know, you know, for which you can ask him for money, I really don't, yeah. I haven't played with them around a lot, at it's all. It's actually kind of horrific how easy it is to, like, exploit the Pope. <laughs> Like, if you manage to vassalize the Pope, you've basically taken over the Catholic world in a matter of minutes. Alright, because he just... He's like, hey, I feel like invading this entire kingdom. Pope, can I have a claim on this duchy? And this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Oh wait, you can't say no! <laughs> oh great, I think that, yeah, the suffered have just declared war on us. Find myself a spouse. Um, let's see. The most attractive one I can find is a princess of France. That could or, be useful. Oh, wait a minute. The Doge of Venice. I'll go with that. Wait, you can do what to the Doge of Venice? I'm looking for a, like, betrothal thing. I just sent off an offer that will give me an alliance with Venice. Cool. Can you... Isn't there like some stuff about... Uh, I don't know. Wait. About the... Um... Man, I really don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just distracted. So, isn't there like an option to? <laughs> I don't know. What what were you talking about? Getting myself an alliance. Right. Yeah. Shouldn't you pay some money or like they are low burns or something like that? Um. In that case, it would be if they approached me, they would have to pay me. Because they're lowborns. Right. That's right. Yeah, it's like a dowry mechanic or something. A dowry mechanic? Oh, hey. yeah, it's a dowry. I don't know what the dowry means. Basically, giving a huge amount of money to the... Usually, this would be like a bride's family giving the oh, it's, okay. man's family a ton of money. Okay, okay, I get it. Usually. 
But not always. It's basically a massive wedding gift from the bride's family. Right, yeah, it's like paying for, well... In this case, it's pay, paying for, for getting married, I guess. Though in the case of the Republics for, like, CK2, it's like a backwards dowry with the man's family bribing the woman's family to let yeah, them. Yeah. I actually had, um... And I still have, I'm, I'm not playing it anymore, but it's still around. An Iron Man uh, uh, Socotra Republic game. Hmm. With the old uh, switch from Feudal to... To a Republic, and so like I have... Uh, what's the name? Commercial outposts in, in, in India. And yeah, that's all like of the, amazing. Yep. If you set up a merchant republic in the Indian Ocean, because there's no one to compete with. Exactly. So I, I was also one in Basra and many all along the coast and in the Red Sea. It's just amazing. Yep. It's also a great way if you're not playing as a republic to make money, just throw a republic down over there. I'm sorry, what's that? If you want to make a lot of money as a feudal lord, just prop down a vassal merchant yeah. republic in yeah, that yeah, area. Yeah. That does really boost your income, especially with like high city taxes and, and that kind of stuff. Hmm. Let's see, do I have any um, interesting things I can do? Well, I suppose I could find spouses for my sisters. I don't care if it's not a matrilineal marriage, because I probably <laughs> won't be this guy after I die. <laughs> it this gives more freedom than usual, this game mode. Yep. Apparently, the guy educating me, even though he's a spy master, does not want me torturing rats. Well, I mean, spying is not a synonym of torturing rats, you know that, right? <laughs> it's not like all but the spies... But the impaler trait gives me an intrigue bonus! Ah, uh, that's true, but... <laughs> still, I think now we may have more soldiers than, than the uh, Safarids. And uh, essentially the same amount of soldier. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen a Rise of the Shia yet. That's true. Usually I get like seven for this yeah, time. Yeah, usually I would have seen one by now. Yeah. Well, usually I have more than one. I don't know why, but... Yeah. It comes and goes and comes and go. I wonder... Um, actually, I'm going to check the ledger. Some random Shiite count might have formed the Caliphate. Nope. There are some Shia... These guys are Shia. I think, yep. Only the... Only four Shiite counties and they're only at 9% moral authority. Yeah, well, Idrisid are, are, are Shia, so maybe they will convert more, but for the time being, apart from the fact that they are being wrecked. Yeah, they're all they're also Saeeds, so they could very well create the Caliphate. I don't know what Saeeds mean, means. Um, descended from Muhammad. Oh, right. Oh, but the current sultan is decadent. <laughs> oh. Where's, yeah, that's true. And also they're yeah, being man. wrecked from, from like, West African uprising and Yeah, he's getting crushed the by Mali. West African revolt. And by and Mali, Mali, you know, like Mali, the little... <laughs> the African tribals are smashing him. Uh, I mean, they have six, 1,600 people. Soldiers. Yeah, he's literally getting assaulted to death by... African tribals. I wonder why the uprising ignored Ijo. Like that. Yeah. I don't Whatever. know. Because if you look at it, it looks like the king of Mali, like, just went up one side and the yep. uprising and the african like, uprising went they, up the other they coordinated and were like well you know yeah. i get the east you get the west let's go yep but yeah the adrosids are getting smashed by 
African Bacons. Yeah. You know that Actually, things are... if they manage to lose Marrakech, in ten years, the Caliph will be able to declare a renewed jihad if they lose Marrakech. Marrakech, I think is... Ah. Or however that's pronounced. I think Marrakech, but I'm not sure. But on, you, you, you know you are in big troubles when Mali beats you in a war, essentially. Yeah, the, the West Africans did get a bit of a buff a couple of updates ago. Really? I tried to play with them, but it was just so slow. Yeah, like, they got a buff where now they actually have, like, the pagan attrition when they didn't before. So it makes playing as them much easier. Uh-huh. That's interesting. I should Granted, they're still play. kind of a boring religion because, much like the Tangriists, they don't actually have any religious mechanics. Uh huh. Well, you know, it's. Unless you count the Mongols' Nurge as a Tangria mechanic, but only the Mongols can do that. The what? The Nurge? The Nurge. Oh, well, yeah. Basically, a bunch of Mongols take their entire army and go hunt with it. Hunt? You mean like in yeah? Think like a game great hunting hunt on steroids. <laughs> but like guys like in armor and army to go hunting. <laughs> That's like one of one of the worst ideas I've ever heard. Like they will kill entire herds. Of... <laughs> yeah, they will slaughter and cut everything. Yeah. They're Mongols. They do that. Yeah, that's true, but... Well, I th like in this era, they do that. I don't know about modern Mongols. Well, Mongolia right now, I Jim think it's like... a bit more civilized by now. I'm a drunkard. Well, that's just great. I'm also 50, so if I want to get drunk, that's the perfect time. And... Like, uh, drunkard? What? How did you get drunkard as a Muslim? Listen, I don't know. I don't question it. I'm a drunkard. Let's enjoy it. And Mongols I mean, right now. Next only fire if you were like decadent with Muslims. <laughs> well, I'm not decadent though. I'm a Bishid, a Sayyid. I went to the Hajjaj. Ah, uh, good point. You can't be decadent because Hajjaj is like a opposite for that in the trait file. Uh huh. Wait, Hajjaj is really? Yeah, when they set up going on the Hajj to remove the decadent trait. Uh huh. They did it by basically making it so that anyone who's been on the Hajj cannot have the decadent trait. That's interesting, and I mean, maybe also partially fair, I don't know. We've only played like... What's the name? Like these monotheistic religions? Uh, to now? I yeah. want to play like some, some like, Swedish bot, I don't know what's the name in. Like the Swedish guy, or like the... No, I do not want medium ground authority. That is very bad for me. <laughs> of course I'm going to vote against that. Is there... Which is the one where you cannot fight inside That's the, the realm? That's the one that I'm voting against. You're right. Like the one that doesn't let me fight other vassals? I'm currently just trying to rack up a ton of piety to make the Pope love me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, I'm going on a pilgrimage to Rome and taking the theology of this. Oh no. Oh, my steward died. Was he a good steward? Better than the new one. Well. In fact, I'm going to find somebody to replace the new one. <laughs> because the new one sucks. There we go, this one is four times better than the old one. Hey Pope, love me. Okay, screw that, I'm not bribing the Pope, that's way too expensive. How much? Like 300 ducats. 300? That's not... much. Eh, screw it, I'll bribe him. Yeah, good choice. I have like 800 ducats. I'm not doing anything with it.
Well, you've also got to remember that I'm a count in the middle of France, so I don't actually have much money. That's true. Because France is not very developed at this start date. Oh no, this fucking ass. Mm, my caliph, my half brother, just made me not be a drunkard anymore. He made you stop being a drunkard. Yeah, you are a annoying little shit. You're still a drunkard on my screen. And actually still on mine, so maybe I lied to the guy. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder why he's trying to tell you to stop being a drunkard if you don't have the decadent trait, though. I don't know, maybe because I'm not a good Sunni Muslim, I don't know. Yeah, that's Yay! The only thing I wait, 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 of. now I'm going to become a, a rival of my caliph. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's... Wonderful. Take the martial focus and take a duel with him. Can I? Um, if you go to the martial focus, you you can duel people. And the Caliph has negative personal combat score. Then again, so do you. So no, I have 12 combat score. Oh, what's the combat score? It's not um, the same. Personal combat is different 12. from martial. Mouse ah, okay. combat modifier. Yep, m minus one. All right. <laughs> But the Caliph also has minus one, so you could conceivably. I have like a 50 50. Is that war or martial? Um, well, war or war. hunting? War. Let's see. Duel the Caliph. Let's do it! <laughs> this is going to end badly. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> what happened? You know where the Caliph is? Go look in at the dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> How did this happen? I just clicked through some random events. <laughs> oh, sort of action. I have already had the faction, so I guess at this point I have to press. It. Oh wait, I didn't have yep. the faction. It tells me that I cannot. Why not? Oh, maybe because I just decided to duel the caliph. I really don't know. Maybe because we are in a war defending against I Infidel. Oh no, we are attacking against inf uh, against actually you the others. Should be able to press your demand. I don't like have the. Um, I, there is no faction anymore. I mean, I still do have a claim, but. Oh wait, because you were like schemed out of a faction a couple years ago. It might not have was run I? off. You were like schemed out of a faction. Well, that was like three episodes ago, right? I have already. Oh, yeah. Redone that. Oh, yeah, good point. Dark Fighter 3 and Dark Fighter 4 near education, so. Well, I would just keep the Caliph in your dungeon until. Yeah, until it's time. Actually, I have a feeling. Wait, you just can't form a faction. Yeah, it tells me that I can. there are no possible faction to start at this time. Really? Yep. That's dumb. I can't even ransom this guy. He doesn't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> I would just keep him in there. And yeah, yeah, he's mountain. just staying in, in and enjoying the, the view of the rats. Also, we appear to have been recording for about an hour. But the middle will be cut probably. Or do you want to have all the all the switching parts? We should add the switching part. All right, so let's keep it in. I will have to. To not show the part, well, there is the... Do we want to not show the restart, or...? Well, it's the same, you know, it's such... Only that there is the uh, server ID, but I can yeah. cover it. I think we issue. should cut the recording at the end of the current year, because... Otherwise, I'm at risk of running out of hard drive oh, space. Oh, right, you're using fraps. So, like here? Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to go to the first? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that to let the autosave go. Not that I'm sure why we're... Oh, wait, I know why we're doing that. That way it doesn't immediately autosave on us. Yeah, exactly. It's the third, so we are a, bit, a little bit late, yep. but it should be uh, good. Okay, cutting the recording. So yep. if I don't remove this part from the video, see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everybody. See you next time.